Have you ever dreamed of staying in your own apartment in Paris? Want to channel your inner Julia Child and whip up a wonderful souffle in your own Paris kitchen? If you've ever thought about renting a vacation apartment in the City of Lights, let the buyer beware. There's much to know and much more to research before you plunk down a stack of euros. I've been advising travelers about my beloved city of Paris for many years. On my first trip to the City of Lights, like most travelers, I booked the quintessential Parisian hotel on an enchanting, slightly crooked left bank street, complete with blooming flowers adorning its facade. I was sold at first bonjour. After a few more trips and a few more hotels, I knew something was missing from my Parisian experience. Beyond exploring the iconic sites, I wanted a closer glimpse into the lives of the residents that intrigued me so. But how was I to accomplish this? I had friends who had stayed in apartments, not hotels, and their stories and experiences intrigued me. Living in an apartment gave them a feeling of belonging to a new culture and to a neighborhood, even if it was just for a week. That was the level of experience I wanted. I honestly didn't know where to start, and I was concerned about getting ripped off by con artists or shady operators only to be shown an apartment that was dirty and below standards, or worse, arriving in Paris with no place to stay at all. Unlike reserving a hotel room, finding an apartment requires due diligence, carries more responsibility, and involves many, many more decisions than checking into the hotel front desk. But the rewards of settling into a private space are many. If you want to pretend, at least temporarily, that you're a Parisian rather than just another hotel dweller, then read on. Here's what you'll find in the Paris Vacation Apartment Guide. Part 1 answers the who, why, where, and when of apartment hunting in Paris. I'll show you apartments that are cozy studios to sprawling penthouse apartments. Part 2 covers the 20 R&D smonts, or neighborhoods, at length to give you a sense of what the atmosphere and attractions are within each of them. Part 3 covers a description of selected rental agencies where you know you will have a wonderful apartment to come home to. Part 4 covers a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Tidbits to make your stay in the City of Lights très magnifique. I hope this guide helps you to discover all the many wonderful things that Paris has to offer. I know I've enjoyed every minute of researching it and writing it all for you. Bon voyage and bonne chance.